And so it begins. 60 people going. Watch out for the covered bridges. They're slippery when wet. Still dark. Should be a great day. Hoping it doesn't rain on us. Ride starting off. Just uh, went right up a hill in the beginning. So. That spread everybody out nicely. So now, Jim's back there. Hope he's not too far back, but starting to thin out a little bit. We're still in the in the city, but uh, probably get into some suburbs here soon, and hopefully get some nice views, some nice scenery. Nice. Mountains one here or our first covered bridge. Control number one, I think. Thirty-six miles in, in New Hope at the Bucks County Playhouse, the first informa information control on the Delaware River. What a neat little town! This little crew I've been tailing, waiting for Jim. Should be coming in, in a minute. Hey, we're back together. Turn coming up here, just out of the first control, along the Delaware River, about 37 miles in. Really pretty here. Clouds looking a little gray, but not too bad. Still sunny. Here we go. It's a neat trail. Yeah. Little detour. Not. That detour has been seeded by U.S. government missions, and their work has now. Been First ride onto Wismer Road after crossing Pontefeppe Creek. Hired many in the private sector. VA yeah, and government research are functioning to de risk the technology. The field of prosthetics was once too expensive for most in the private sector. The customer base was just too small to make it feasible. But all that government research. All right. 46 in. Average speed Lost the group. Three miles per hour. Jim's back there a little bit, somewhere. Remaining distance 81.8 miles. You'll arrive in four hours, 50 minutes. Last right. Stop. 15.0 miles per hour. Average moving speed 14.7 miles per hour. Yep. So I've lost the group. Jim's right behind me a little bit, maybe a minute behind me, if that. And I'm coming up on control two at 46 miles. Another covered bridge. Information control. Three miles per hour. Average moving speed 
1.1 miles per hour. Slight left on this Glen Hill Road B circuit covered bridge road. Miles will arrive in 4 hours 39 minutes. Last interval, average speed 17.9 miles per hour, average moving speed 17.4 miles per 82. hour. 82. Control, cabin run covered bridge, then continue straight. Definitely a lot of good photo ops here. Huh? I know, I gotta watch to make sure I don't cause trouble with my pictures. There was this one farm that had like an ostrich and <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that would be a perfect, uh, like all those animals. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Come on. This is pretty great. <laughs> pretty great. Here's the control. The staffed control. So, if I have a super power on a bike, it's getting back on the bike and not screwing around in the control. <clears throat> Maybe I should have waited and rested a little bit more. But I waited around a little while for Jim. Not sure where he where he got hung up, but you know I was there for a few minutes. I was like, time to get moving again. And uh, we got a big climb coming up here We're along this little creek. I'm not sure which this is. It's probably something significant, and I don't know it. Pretty. It's a little part of the Delaware River, just split across this island. I was just looking at a part that went around the island, but I'm still along the Delaware, and that's New Jersey over there. On my way to Frenchtown. We're along the Delaware here. Right ahead is, what do you call that? The river bank, I'm gonna call it. Like, uh, must of this be the floodplain of the Delaware, and that's where it would stop. Basically, this is a very steep climb to go up on top of this ridge. There's a covered bridge coming right up. Mm -hmm. This is the one where they say, don't need a lot at that control, because you gotta do this climb and if you got to push it, push it 
I might push it, but I'm gonna try to see if I got the gears. If I don't, I'll blame the bike. It's not me. It's the bike. We'll see. Euler Town Covered Bridge. 102 feet long. Up on that ridge is where I'm going. Nice. When your cue sheet says, walk your bike around the road close sign and maybe just keep walking. You know you're in for a pretty steep climb. Uh, I didn't do it. So it actually wasn't that bad of a climb. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. I just don't want to dump it. <laughs> if I had, if I wasn't clipped in, I probably could have made it. I was worried I'd lose momentum and drop the bike, so. I decided to walk, maybe a hundred steps, if that. <laughs> oh well, on we go. So we're about, a little more than halfway done. We're more than half of the climbing. And it's a lot of little short, steep things. Now, not a lot of big climbs. Just a little down to a creek and up out of a creek. A couple hundred feet, 100 feet. <laughs> Lots of little things. Just taking it easy. Stop at the bridge, get your control done, get out of there. In three quarters mile Eat on the bike. Left. I'm happy with that. Put a little time in the bank. A neat a lot of stone farms and houses out here. It's amazing, like really pretty houses. Rustic. Rustic looking. Don't get in there. Kind of working against a small headwind. This works. Bill. Rough bridge. <laughs> Quite rough. Blooming Glen. Moods. Oh, they sanded it. Put it through the planer.
another hanging out bridge over nothing. You probably can't hear me. There's the wind. It's very windy. It's getting a, we're getting a little more headwind now. A little lake up ahead. bike trail along this lake. Long lake, I guess. Valley Bridge 81 feet There she was At the post office the patrol is a postcard So I'll make something quick here 33. Drop it in the box. Whoop. That's how you do it. I almost missed this control because it's down this little side alley thing. About 15 miles from done. Things are getting a little less climby for the moment. A little more downhills. I guess we're going down to the river. Down to the... Oh, I can't I ever remember the name of this river. We're going down to the river. So it's going to be some drops in elevation. Jim's gone. I have no idea where Jim went. He's not having a good day, I don't think. But, hope to see him sometime tonight. Hope he finishes in time. Five miles outside of Philadelphia. Outside the city line. And I hear traffic over there. But it's... It's a horse farm. And I've been riding through this stuff all afternoon pretty nice there's this Kukul River back there Looks like I'm going to finish this during daylight hours. That's good news. Been a few days since the end of the covered bridges ride down in Philadelphia. So I thought I'd take a second and put a little thought into uh, what I wanted to say about the end of the, that ride. We ended, I showed a quick shot of the Maniunk Brewery, just outside the Maniunk Brewery. We all lined up our bikes outside the brewery and uh, 
you know, the, the volunteer who was manning the control, uh, the Finnish control, watched the bike while everybody went in and got something to eat, something to drink, share stories uh, with the other people who finished. And that made it a really nice uh, ending for the day. Uh, I drove about five hours down there to Philadelphia for Mythica. So why would I do that? Why would I go five hours for a brevet? <clears throat> um, the scene in central New York, central western New York, Randonneurs, the Finger Lakes region, is a lot different than it is in some other areas. Uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New England, I hear, have pretty vibrant uh, communities. Uh, Randonneurs, uh, here it's kind of in a, I don't know if it's shrunk or if it's growing, uh, but right now it's kind of in a lull. There's not that many uh, randonneurs in my area. So I wanted to go and see what that was like, and that uh, that was really interesting because there was 55 people riding this ride. Uh, tons of volunteers um, and well-manned controls, and that was a lot of fun. Got to see a little different side of the scene. I finished in about 11 hours and 30-something minutes, so I had a little bit of extra time. Jim, who I mentioned, uh, kind of spearheaded the ride down to Philadelphia, and he's done a bunch of the PA randomering events. Uh, he didn't finish because he had some technical problems and some uh, his stomach was not working for him. Uh, but most everybody finished the ride. It was challenging but doable, and I was glad to have the experience. I guess that's all I w wanted to say about that. Um, yeah, it's fun to put together. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.